What's going on, you Linux nerds? How you doing? How you doing? Hope you guys are all staying out of trouble. I mean, not over here like me, getting twisted, living the Gen 2 life in a dilapidated basement. As we all know, we all live in basements, according to literally everyone else on the internet. So I got my green screen set up. I moved around my room, or my desk, and set up my room and got my green screen all put up so you know thought i'd go ahead and make use of it so yeah um as soon as i get a better camera and a better lighting situation in here uh the like edges around me and uh the edges around my hands and shit will get better but for now this is what we're working with and also like it fucks up my twisted tea bottle so at some points it's like see-through mm. But I'm living that Gen 2 life and also no video editing life. So let me know if I should start editing the videos again or if you like this style of unedited, just put together videos. So I'm using Gen 2 and I've signed up for using Gen 2 for five years. Um, me and Josh or Tinley J, as you might know him, he, you know, he gets around in the Linux space. So you might have seen him. Uh, we have a challenge going on. I mean, we also do the podcast together over on Matt's channel, the Linux cast. Uh, so that's a thing. But we're doing a challenge. So for five years, I've got to use Gen 2. Um, I am allowed to like, you know, if I need to reinstall, I can, but I'm supposed to keep, you know, pretty much the same setup. Exactly. Pretty much the same setup. Um, so I did actually have to reinstall because I moved around some stuff. I put my graphics card in here and got my computer back in its uh, big case instead of its little mini ITX portable one because I want my graphics card, my big hard drive. I got a 14 terabyte hard drive in this bad boy. Kind of want it all the time. So uh, I actually did have to reinstall uh, because I my boot drive and root uh, drive are separate than my home drive. Um, and for reasons, I had to, I had to switch it around. But um, yeah, uh, I, I did a reinstall of Gen 2 yesterday. Uh, I tried System D, did not go well at all. Um, just to prove that I am still on Gen 2, though, I guess I should go ahead and show you my screen. I can pop around from side to side here. But um, as you can see, I'm still using Gen 2 with Hyperland. I've got the global key bindings for OBS set up. It's generally speaking, this Gen 2 is, uh, or this Gen 2 install and Hyperland are working just fine. Let me run a NeoFetch here just just so everyone can, you know, oogle and ogle. Is that a thing? I don't think so. Uh, over the NeoFetch here. It's beautiful. Beautiful Gen 2 system. Absolutely gorgeous. Everything works. Not just works, but, you know, works well. So, yeah. Now, you might say, uh, Tyler, uh, you're not, or Zany, uh, however you want to refer to me, I don't give a shit. Um, you might switch, and the answer to that is yes, and that's why Josh is betting against me. So just so you know what's riding on the line for this Gen 2 challenge uh, for the next five freaking years, Josh is opening up a savings account with $25, and every week that I'm on Gen 2, another $5 goes into that account, and he gives me that account or you know sends me the money after the challenge is over uh if i lose and install something else switch blah 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 whatever um i have to send him this my favorite monitor which has hair on it which is gross but you know i got a dog shit happens but yeah this is my favorite ultra wide monitor uh, apparently josh wants a nice ultra wide uh, so the colors on this thing are freaking amazing so um i've already taken it off i'm not using it at all because you know um i want to keep it in prime condition for him so i've got to pay for shipping and send this to him should i not stay on gen now as always please feel free to leave your <laughs> your bets on how long I'll stay on Gen 2 for in the comments. But so far, I'm ab absolutely loving Gen 2. It's great. Um, you know, it's also very simple to use. Uh, 
assuming you know how to use Portage, which most people don't, so it won't be easy. But you know, yeah, for me it's easy. It's it's fine. Um, I actually prefer it over pretty much every other Linux distro, mainly because the package manager is the package manager I want. Gives me complete control, like Portage. Portage gives you complete control over everything. And, you know, if you've got a modern system, modern desktop, compile times ain't bad. They're, you can deal with them. They're good. But, yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to make this video about was just, yeah, I'm still using Gen 2, and I've played around and gotten some stuff set up. So, um, yeah, uh, the next video that's going to come out is going to be about Owncast. Uh, so if you want to watch me live stream, uh, I set up my own Owncast instance. And uh, and by instance, I mean, like I made, I got a VPS and I'm self-hosting, you know, Owncast. If you don't know what Owncast is, it's like Twitch, but you can self-host it yourself. And it's actually really good. It's a really good platform. So if you want to come over, watch live stream chat, uh, you don't have to make an account or any of that BS. Uh, you just keep keep up with notifications that come out through Element or Discord, which, by the way, if you're on the Discord, pretty much everything's moving over to Element. So, yeah, uh, you should probably come over to Element. Just know uh, the phone app from everything that I've heard is a little glitchy um, for Element, but there's other matrix clients you can use but yeah uh we should probably move in a free and open source communication direction and uh kind of just in every way move to a more self-controlled um you know non-evil big tech company kind of approach the ironic part is that i'm running most of my vps is through aws to save money right now but that's besides the point um i'll i'll change those eventually but yeah so if you want to see me live stream, uh, you can just pop over to live.zany.org and that's where I go live. Uh, you won't get notifications from there. You just have to know when I'm going live from a post that I make on elements in my announcements room or on discord or, you know, wherever I'll probably a lot of the times if you watch a video and it's a pretty new video, I probably am streaming over on Owncast after that, but uh, today, I probably won't be streaming on Owncast. I'm not too sure. I'm trying to record a lot of videos and get a whole bunch of stuff done and be productive. So if you enjoy the video, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button before you head on out. And uh, all of my relevant links will be down in the description so you can check all those out, join the Matrix, uh, whatever. Uh, the Discord's going to be axed in six months, so just just know that um it's it's only there to you know serve as a backup for element right now while people transition um and also if you you know want to financially support because just doing the normal youtube stuff isn't enough for you you want to go above and beyond patreon's down there thank you guys uh everyone who supports me over on patreon it's very much appreciated and yeah i i am very very much looking forward to gen 2 and really all the self-hosted stuff and everything that i'm into right now so if you don't really know that much about owncast and would like to learn more don't worry there's going to be a video out tomorrow about owncast so hopefully that'll explain some things and yeah we'll talk more about it then Hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.